Welcome back, my friends, to Supermarket Simulator. I am RP, and thank you so much for letting me steal some of your time. We are continuing on our playthrough here. As usual, the comments have been excellent. We are getting things taken care of. I'm kind of expanding in what I feel is more of a uh, you know traditional supermarket layout. So what I would like to do today in this episode is, uh, let me get out of this. Let's go into management. I want to get another license. I'd like to get this license right here and add the bleach cleaner, dishwashing tablets, hand soap, shampoo, and toilet paper, uh, as well as some uh, cheese, some more cheese, honey. I would really like to start to get these opened up. So at least one in today's episode, and if not two, as well as we do have a little space right here against this wall. We can probably fit maybe two shelves right here to accommodate more product. We've got an open spot right here that we can use, and we've got an open spot right here. You guys know I'm going with this three-way setup, and it's working out fine. And I brought Jack back. I decided to, and I decided to go ahead and throw down another register here that I can jump on and help take care of things. So let's go ahead and start the day, and uh, let's welcome Jack. Jack back. So welcome back, Jack. Now I know I'm level 18, uh, you know, and we can definitely make $80 more a day without Jack. Uh, but he actually uh, helps out nicely with me jumping on this register because then I don't have to work uh, as feverishly. And I can also take a look at the stock. But right now the stock is actually holding up for the whole day. I've gone and added a few more lights, so it is a little bit brighter in here. I'll go ahead and turn on the lights. And uh, I think it looks great. You know, I've, I've got my stock over here off to the side. People can come and go. And like I said, I wanted to leave room behind Jack, move this up a little bit so that we can add couple of more shelves right here until we can get the money to expand because expanding while Jack does some work for us let's go ahead and uh, leisurely uh, check out the expanding here now I did pay my bills so all my bills are paid we're starting out with seven hundred and forty one dollars after stocking everything up uh, I also did buy an extra shelf and I bought an extra cooler uh, just to round off the store so what I want is growth so the next growth is twenty six hundred so this gets super expensive so yeah it's going to be expensive oh we've got people waiting for us here how did this happen did not expect this just because the registers here doesn't mean it's open now that i would like to see is a open and close uh sign for the register just like they have in the real supermarket uh, that way you know not to go to the register. But anyway, I hope everybody's having a good weekend. This is still the weekend for me. I am trying to uh, get as many videos out as I can this weekend uh, so that I can uh, not work as hard during the middle of the week. But uh, yeah, I am really, really enjoying this game. Uh, this game is so much fun. I can't tell you. I am like really starting to get super, super addicted to it trying to figure out okay how can i how can i get the day to go by smoothly and not have any hiccups and right now other than the fact that i was sitting there looking at the computer and these guys are piling up on me uh this seems to be working out the best for me so i'm very happy with this i hit that zero i didn't need to all right so yeah let, let's see if we can earn enough money I want to buy some more products. I want to open up another license and just uh, basically just stay in the black. All right. I'm not out to like try to like crush it money wise. I can do that off camera by grinding. But, you know, for the playthroughs, just looking to stay in the black each and every night. Try to give some uh, good customer satisfaction and uh, meet everybody's needs and keep adding to the store, keep growing the store, and uh, try to keep it all in balance, try to keep everything moving uh, without any hiccups. All right. And so far, this helping out like this, having this register and have him over here, uh, you know, I can hear him behind me working away as I sit here and keep the uh, overflow going. You know, and I'm faster than him, so he's picking up you know, some of the stuff that I'm not going to have to do, especially towards the end of the night. And this is why I still want to get my stock strategy down that it lasts throughout the whole day and I don't lose anything. I don't want to lose any stock. Uh, I don't want to run out. 
I want to find a balance. And right now, the three... The triple play. <laughs> Let's call it the triple play, right? Tripling up on the... Uh, on the items is working. Some items are only double and they are holding out like the candies. Uh, I had to add another chocolate candy because that was running out. But uh, the candy normally will just barely make it through the night. So like a third row of candy would absolutely make it through the night. And having two is like a little bit of a, uh, you know, you might not make it like just right down to the wire i'm talking about down to the wire but you never know i mean the way the game is you really can't predict how the customers are going to come in and what what they're going to want more of and what they're going to want less of again trying to uh figure all this out has been uh the challenge of the game but like right okay look at that see three three way on that milk two of those milks are already gone so that uh, powder, you know, that condensed milk right there seems to be super, super popular. All right. Yeah, they're, they're doing well. What time is it? It's 7.45. Candy's holding up. The cooler section's holding up nicely over there. Does that not look pro, guys? Look at that cooler section up against those shelves, and we turn over here. And then if we get a couple of more shelves behind Jack there. Uh, that should give us, uh, you know, enough room to get a couple of more products in here, make more money, and then start opening up the uh, territory. There you go. Everybody go visit Jack. Let me have a break here. Welcome back, Jack. It is so good to have you back, my friend. People uh, asked about you. They, uh, they definitely uh, uh, are as happy as I am to see you back. But this is how I'm going to go and play the game. I'm sorry, sir. I didn't see you standing there. It was... Uh, I was talking to my friend Jack. He's He just got back to work. Okay, right. Uh, uh, okay. Sorry. Guy's not very uh, chatty, is he? Have a good day. All right. How you doing? Look at all of these customers. Look at how many different customers. I swear, every day I see more different customers. I must be new to the neighborhood. I've seen you before, though. How are you doing, ma'am? All right, 50, 70, 80, 1, 2, 3, and 4, and 40 cents. 25, 35, and 40. All right, we're doing good. It's 9 o'clock. Oh, we made some nice money. All right, good. We're going to be able to buy the license and still have money left over to stock the store. So that is going to be awesome. Excellent. Let me get this guy out of here. Sorry, sir. All right. All right, very good. All right, that's uh, that's running good. Uh, the shelves are holding up. We're just going to have to just, you know, replenish them and, uh, you know, start another day and uh, buy some new goods, get those goods up, try to get at least double. Oh, we're also going to have to buy uh, probably at least one shelving unit. So that's $200. All right, so what, what is it, Seven fifty for the license? All right, is that the last of them, Jack? You did good, my man. I'm I'm happy to have you back. You got my back. I mean, literally, you have my back. Is that awesome? All right, great. So tell me what you guys think of this setup. I think it uh, it flows nicely. It's a I think it's a good use of the floor space, and it allows us to get two registers, and allows me to get onto a register. All right, let's go ahead and end our day, and then uh, we'll check our stock. All right, we had a good day, no complaints. We made a profit. Now let's go ahead and start the next day. All right, we've got some price changing to deal with. What do, what do we got over here? Is it this cake? Yes, this cake is now 504, so we're going to go ahead and make it 505. All right, and uh, something else. I, I wish that little menu would stay up a little bit longer, but unfortunately it does not. So I'll we'll have to go to the market, and let's see. We've got peanut butter to deal with. This is the only way I can do it. Bread and peanut butter. And what else? We already did the cakes uh, and the yogurt. Bread, peanut butter, and yogurt. Let's get over here to the yogurt. Yogurt went up. We're going to go ahead and make that 215. And the bread is, it went down. All right, so it's 345. Uh, 
And there was one other thing, right? Uh, it wasn't the peanut butter, was it? Oh, yes, it was the peanut butter. Okay, $5.70 for the peanut butter now. Because I'm rounding. You know, I could go to 75 uh, but we'll just go to 70 We'll go to 70 on that. That should be everything. If I missed anything, I'll, I'll find out as I stock. All right, so let me take a look here. What do we have that we can get rid of? We can get rid of some of this orange juice. I mean, some of this apple juice, I should say. And uh, this is how I start. I start with the overflow. I grab everything that was left over, and then I decide uh, what I have to buy. So I'll have to buy one milk, top that off, so we know... So we know we need a milk. So this is how I do this now. I start over here and I go ahead and I got an empty cart. There's one milk. Oh, don't need to go outside. All right. So what have I got here? I've got this uh, powdered milk here. All right. So I've got to get that on there as well. So let's see. We've got one shelf done. We need two of those. Let me go over here and grab two of those put that in the cart you can put 10 items in the cart let's go ahead and just top off any flour and then we're probably going to need one two flour all right let's go ahead and uh, make sure i don't have any other flour let's go and grab two flour real quick grab two flour i've got five things in there so far let's go ahead and dump this off and we're going to need one of these. Let me just go ahead and throw that there. Put one of those in the basket. So this is the way I've been doing it. It's uh, it's not my kind of how I go about my morning. All right, I've got candy. Let me go ahead and finish off this candy. Throw that one up there. We'll go ahead and get rid of that. And we'll top this off. That gets rid of that. So we need one candy. Go down here and grab the candy, add that to the cart. All right, we can only go 10 at a time. Almost ran into her. All right, very good. Can only do 10 at a time, so just going to take it like this. All right, so I've got milk. Oh, I don't need milk. I've got milk. Oh, don't want to do that. Bring that back. Only want three rows of milk. Excellent. So we, I could take the milk off. I don't, I don't need the milk. Get rid of the milk. All right, uh, how am I doing on my sodas? Now, what orange juice is this? This is orange juice. Go ahead there. And this should top it off. And it does. All right. We've topped off the orange juice. All right. We need a soda. A soda. We need one of each soda. And we need one orange juice. And we need water, yogurt, and cheese. All right. Let's go over here and let's get our cheese and get our water. And we're going to need, that's eight. We're going to need this soda and this soda. So let's get that. And then we're going to need one more soda. We're going to need this soda. We need an apple juice. So let's hold that like that. All right, let's uh, let's see what else. Oh, we did I put the yogurt in there? I, I don't know. I can't remember. I don't think I did. Here, I need a yogurt. All right. Cereal looks like it's doing okay. We could probably use one of the uh, crispy chubbies. One sugar. I've already got this one right here, so I can top this one back off. This did not even... Oh, yeah, it's sold. All right, that tops that off. All right, what else we got here now? We've got our coffee. We ordered our milk. We've got some of these uh, cakes. Flour, oil, peanut butter. Uh, we've got to get everything, huh? All right. Let's go ahead and get the peanut butter. Let's go ahead and get an egg. Uh, let's go ahead. We got six. Let's go ahead and get a flour and another flour. That's eight. And I believe that should uh, be it. Probably need a candy of that. The uh, oil. All right. All right. We're down to 1900, but we've got a ton of stuff out here. All right, let me get some of this stuff stocked and I'll be right with you guys. Enjoy the uh, stocking music.
that gets all those products topped off nicely. I hope you guys enjoyed that. And uh, let's go ahead and order up uh, some new products by buying a new license because we have the money. Let's go ahead over here to license and let's get this new stuff here. What are we going to get? We're going to get bleach. There we go. Now we've got $700 left. So let's see if we can get at least one of uh, all of these new items. So we'll start up here with the bleach. We'll add one, one hand cleaner, a dishwasher tablet, the hand soap, shampoo. That's 249 and we'll go ahead and we'll get a toilet paper. Toilet paper is probably going to be very popular. We'll grab another one of those. We'll grab another shampoo. We'll do another hand soap. We've still got the money. We'll grab one more cleaner. No. I'm going to get rid of that cleaner. I'm going to add another uh, bleach instead. Let me see how that goes. All right. So let me open this up. I had two. Let me get one. And I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to add the bleach. That gives me double of everything except for the dishwater tablets and the cleaner. And we'll go with that for right now. Maybe we'll go ahead and buy the other two if we have the room. We have $300 left. Oh, we are going to be cutting it. I mean cutting it. There we go. Where's $200? We need that for our shelf. We're down to $111. I hope... Did we pay the bills at the beginning of this? I hope we did. No, we didn't. Okay, $48.65. That's not due yet. It's got three days left. Okay. But that bill's paid. Oh my gosh, we are really cutting it, folks. We are really cutting it. All right, so bleach. Let me go ahead and put the bleach right here. I don't remember. How many did I get of the bleach? I've got hand cleaner. I know I got one hand cleaner, so we'll put that down at the bottom here. All right. Or cleaner it is. I'm not. is. It's not hand cleaner. Now here's the toilet paper. I'm going to double up the toilet paper here. Oh, actually, no. I'm going to use the new, the new shelf. Let's put this over here. Let's go grab the new shelf. Get this set up behind Jack here. All right. Yeah, we can pro... Maybe... I don't know. Maybe we'll be able to get three of them in here. Who knows? Get that in nice and tight. All right. We'll put this down here. This down there. All right. Yeah, we're starting to get very, very, very tight in here now. But that's all right. I want, I want to get another shelf if I can. I know we can, we could probably fit three in here, maybe. Who knows? Who knows? All the toilet paper up. <laughs> yep, all the toilet paper's up. Okay. Let's go ahead and price these items real quick. Toilet paper's $15.40. All right, that takes care of that. What else do we have over here? We have this bleach. That's going to be $4.70. And this uh, cleaner here is going to be $3.05. All right, very good. Let's get this up here. Yeah, I can't wait to start the day and see uh, see how this works. Okay, we're down to $65. Uh, thank goodness we paid Jack already, right? All right, that's over there. I've got an empty spot. Let me put this over here. Put it right up. Oh, this is going to take up two shelves. Oh, okay. All right, good thing I put that there. Um, I think I got two of these. Let's go ahead and grab the other one. Yep, right here. And lay that in here. Oh, this is so cool, man. I, God, I cannot wait for the stalkers to come. I heard they're coming very soon, the stalker employees. And I wonder how he's going to work that in as far as, like, requirements, like, level-wise and, and uh, how that's going to work. Really anxious to see that. What did I knock over here? Flower. All right. Uh. I need, you know, I'm going to actually have to start using the uh, storage space because I'm running out of room quickly. All right, hand soap. Go ahead and put this hand soap in here, and then that's it. That's all the new products. Uh, the next new products, we're going to have to either not do this setup here where we have three ways because the, the next products are actually refrigerated, and we're going to need some refrigerator space, although we could probably put a single cooler right here if we need to. All right, so let's go ahead and uh, you ready, Jack? All right, my man. I think we got everything priced, right? Let me take a look, make sure. The hand cleaner, did that get priced? Nope, 210. All right, 210 for the hand cleaner. 
and 606 for the uh, soap, whatever this is. And what is this cleaner? This is uh, $20, 55 cents. All right. All right. So everything's priced. Nothing's not priced. All right. We're looking good. Go ahead and turn the lights on. And let me get in my space. And Jack, good luck. Let's see if we can dig ourselves out of the hole here, Jackie boy. We've got uh, $63 to our name, right? Jack, just he, he's, he's laser focused on me. He does not, does not let up, man. I could feel him boring a hole in the back of my head right now, aren't you? Jack, look at somebody else. There you go, Jack. No, he can't take his eyes off me. Mesmerized. Oh, hello. How are you? All right. 35 cents for you. All right. Look at this place. This place is looking spiffy. I love it. Enjoy. Enjoy all the new products, everybody. Oh, look at this. Money. Give me money. $3.30. Yeah, this is a breeze now. Doing the register. Knowing that I have Jack at my back, I just have more confidence on the register. Hey, right, Jack? <laughs> All right. Hello. All right, nine dollars and eighty-five cents. There you go. How are you? Good to see you. Thank you. Fifty-two cents. Thank you. Smooth as a gravy sandwich. Oh, uh, by the way, on the last episode, I had uttered a phrase. Uh, I always say, uh, "There you go to the to uh, there you go, friendo." to the customers and uh, one of our viewers definitely caught on that that was from country no country from old men chilling when he would say that right to that gas station attendant when he found out that he inherited his wife's business <laughs> decided well that's not good anymore that you inherited her business friendo great movie though all right. Uh, right now, man, I am just like, either I'm making a video. I don't watch TV that much, like hardly at all. And I make, you know, that's why I like, enjoy gaming. Gaming is my, is my uh, entertainment. It's my pastime. I'd rather, I'd rather play some games than sit and watch TV. But I, but I do like movies and every now and then a good series will come out. And right now on FX is Shogun. I'm really enjoying that. Uh, I don't know. You guys like that? Has anybody seen Shogun yet? I think that's awesome. I like the show. I think they, they're doing a good job with it. All right. Come on, people. All right. We're getting out of the hole here. $518. Just trying to keep my eye on things in case I have to jump off here and fix something. That pasta's going down quickly. That's got me a little worried. And it's only, what, 3 o'clock? Hopefully that pasta will hold out. But now that I have two registers like this, I can definitely jump off here if I have to. No problem. All right. Let me uh, keep an eye on that. I might have to do that. Because I want to try to keep a, uh, a customer satisfaction high. Yeah, that looks iffy. We've got four hours left of the day. Let's go ahead and grab some pasta real quick. Just just to be sure. All right, let me just grab two of those. I got somebody at my register. Take care of that real quick. Yeah, 650. Did not need to do that. Yes, ma'am. I want to get out from behind the register for a second, ma'am. Thank you. 2710. Appreciate the business. Oh. Oh. <laughs> 200 and 10. No. Uh, 271. No. Two, two, 2710. There we go. Yeah, I got a feeling that uh, we might need to do this. Yeah. Pasta's looking pretty, pretty uh, 
popular right now. Let's go ahead and make sure we don't have any pasta runouts. Let me get behind my register. Yeah, this is so much more fun. I, I think it's, even though I have to pay $80 a day to have Jack help me out, it is, it is a lot easier for me to run the store this way. So, thank you so much for the comment that suggested. Just go ahead and bring Jack back and throw down a register uh, that you can uh, use to help Jack out. But it seems like I help him out more than I do anything. That's the first time I jumped out from behind the register and uh, fixed some product. I see something over here as well. How's this toilet paper doing? Toilet paper is running out quickly. I figured that it would. Not making a lot of money. Well, we were we were pretty broke, though. We were down to $62. We've made $800 so far today. And then we'll pay Jack and we'll pay the bills. And uh, it'll, it'll be a slow climb back up, but I think, I think this will do it. I think this is a good configuration, and this is going to help us uh, achieve our goals. Uh, you guys let me know what you think. Uh, again, I cannot thank you all enough for your support with my channel. You guys have made my little dream of, uh, of playing games uh, on YouTube and having people hang out with me while I do it uh, come true. And I'll never be able to thank you enough for that. And that's all I wanted. I just wanted you guys to hang out with me and, uh, you know, play the game uh, with me. And you guys have been doing that. And I am forever grateful. And yeah, we've made $1,000. I think that's pretty, pretty good. Not bad at all. I'm really looking forward to pushing it further, getting the store bigger, really, really opening up this game. Uh, and I think we're, we're, we're getting there. We're, we're making big strides now. Each The last two episodes, I think we've made really big strides. And that's been partly because of your comments and, and your guidance. So I, I can't thank you enough for that again. So let's get these people out of here. Let's give uh, Jack a uh, a nice uh, uh, job well done for his, uh, what, this is your second day back, Jack, right? Yeah, second day back. All right. I tell you, Jack, you're steady as a rock. All right, the store is looking good, like a real store. That's what I'm trying to achieve. I'm, I'm trying to... I'm, I'm trying to achieve that real store uh, vibe, you know, with running out of uh, stocks the way a real store would. <clears throat> All right, I think that should do it, Jack. I think we did it again, brother. Made it through the night. Let's see. Let's go and uh, check our satisfaction. Oh, products not found. One. Is that going to be the toilet paper? Did we run out of toilet paper? Yeah. Yeah, we're gonna have to uh, gonna have to actually triple up, quadruple up on that toilet paper. But I think we'll call it right here, folks. And thank you again so much for uh, all the support and love for the channel. And uh, yeah, I think we're doing well. Uh, we're we're gonna move on to maybe adding another shelf. Trying to figure out a way of getting some more shelving in here. I might have to sacrifice this floor space right here. All these boxes, and we may have to start using this. <laughs> just so that I might be able to fit a couple of more shelves in here uh, because it's going to cost us before we go this, you know you guys already know this but it's already gonna it's gonna cost us 2600 just to get the next expansion and that's only another four by four so that's going to be a square I think it opens up on this side if I'm not mistaken and this is how it starts to open up we start opening up this wall starting at this corner so yeah that's the goal bring on more products. Jack's here to stay because he is helping me. I do like this configuration and I will catch you guys in the next episode. Ta-ta and bye-bye.